Who doesn't love a cake other than the French revolutionaries? Today's DIY shouldn't bother them too much. After all, we don't plan on being like the ill-fated French queen who said to let them eat the cake because today we're making a fake cake. While a real cake is always a joy, the most beautiful are often destroyed before they even have a chance to be admired. That's why we're showing you how to make a DIY cake storage box fit for a queen and all of her jewels. Nice, but I like it. stay away from me with that guillotine. <laughs> right? Okay, so these are really cute. Our mm -hmm. producer Daniel actually found um, this idea and as we were looking at people doing them, we were like, what are they do What are they using? What are they decorating these yeah, cake like boxes how with? Are they, yeah, what's the solution? And it's this spackle. It's this plastering past plaster. Just or, yeah, plaster. plaster. Patching plaster, yeah, or spackle. And That's then it. just fill up a piping bag and do it like you would do a cake. So if you know how to decorate a cake, you know how to do this. Wow. Okay. So we have a box. Sure. You can mm -hmm. get these at the craft store. Mm -hmm. And the first thing to remember, which is a good point, is to leave the lid on and draw a line where the lid is going to go because as you spackle this, mm -hmm. you, the lid won't fit anymore. Oh, okay. If you go too high, right? So you're right. So you're drawing a line to make sure that you stay below that line as you spackle. Yeah, okay. and you want to open this up. Oh, I think sure. you might have to use that screwdriver right screw, here. Yeah. There we go. See, so now my line says don't go any higher. <laughs> Are you sure that this is how you do I, it? Yes, I am. Have you never been on a construction site or at my house? Can you do it? Listen, is this really how I how it goes? Yes. Like this? Well, like, <laughs> is this your cream cheese moment? Maybe. Cream I don't, cheese Louise. Well, I mean, I guess I could use my hand, but I thought we were supposed well, to use Well, you, you had to loosen it up with that, oh. and then you could get out. Now, so I did a good job. Pro tip, so here's how much is even left. I don't think you can maybe see that, but this is already done. Mm -hmm. That box, um, it's it's covered the ones we're going to do, and a couple at home. So you don't need very much spackle. That's a, that's a pro tip. Okay. okay, okay, good to know. So you can take... Do you want to do it? Uh, sure, I'm going to okay. spackle this, okay. So take the spatula, Mm-hmm. okay, you just get a little on there. Sure. And then you're going to start, don't go over the line. Right. And you want to start smoothing that on. Yep. So if you've been a cake decorator or a drywaller, <laughs> you should, so you can glob a little bit more on and then spread it. And okay. so I think. Like that a lot of the things that apply to cake making probably apply to this too, where mm. you can kind of smooth it out, and sure. then maybe often if I'm doing a cake, I will take my my palette knife and I'll get it, I'll run it under hot water and then dry it, and so okay. I've got a, a little tiny bit of heat to smooth it. Ooh, I went over the line. But well, you're also, yeah, we're also gonna sand them too. Sure, that's true too, and also, how quickly does this dry? I mean, so we, I can probably manipulate it for a while still. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be able to, it's right. not gonna just dry super yep. fast, and Perfect. you're gonna be able to spread it out. And it then feels it, just like cake frosting. It you know? does, doesn't it? And it does <laughs> need to dry, let it sit for about 24 hours. Do you want it to be like a flat, like a cake would be, or do you want there to be kind of these, um, you know, kind of uh, well, waves uh, of... I mean, I like my cakes to look perfect, so you, so you decide, want it to be like, okay. I want it to be flat. I guess I can see that, and plus, there is a sanding mm -hmm. um, part, so I suppose right. flat is the best way to go. Gotcha. So then, you know, once you've got that done, and you mm -hmm. can do the lid too, obviously okay. you should do the lid too, then you're gonna let it sit, and it's got this, and so we're just gonna take the box as it is, and we're just gonna kind of sand it down. So I'm gonna sure. move on to this step. Okay. okay. You want to sand it nicely down, so which you can't do to a cake, by the way. So this is kind of makes it a little easier in that regard, right? Sure. And then you get it nice and smooth. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add paint to the spackle in a piping bag, and that's where we're going to get the fun, fun decorating. Wait, paint to oh into like a um, like you're going to decorate a cake into yeah, the actual exactly. bag, like the. Okay, you know, I love to get into a cake decorating mood. <laughs> okay. This is working good. Okay. So once it's um, smooth like this, then you just, uh, what, dust it off and yep. kind of get started? And then you're ready to go. So should we make up some make up some spackle? Yeah, let's see how that goes. Okay, we need a bowl. Okay. There you go. Okay. And I need, you know, you need less than you think, but you got to have enough to pipe, I think, you know? Right. I wondered about that, too. Okay. Okay. So I've got some there. Here you can have that. I'm okay. going to do pink. Okay. I'll do blue then. And I'm going to add some paint. You don't want to add so much paint that it gets too runny. Mm hmm But you want it to, to um, it's going to dry lighter. Ooh, I like blue. It's going to dry lighter than it, it's going to look right now. Okay. So you got to kind of find that, find the, um, 
happy medium in that. Okay. Because you want it to, it's got to be thick enough, you know, mm -hmm. that it keeps its form. <laughs> but if you want it to dry with a color still, it's going to lighten up quite a bit. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get, I want a little more. Where'd you put that? Where'd you put the? Oh, the spoon. <laughs> Sorry. It doesn't smell like cake frosting. Right, right. <laughs> what does it? Oh. Mm, I kind of like it though. It smells like a new house. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like this light blue. Gosh, I cannot even tell you how much this reminds me of just like regular frosting. Like I know. Nothing, it's really fun. Nothing so about what do you think you're like... going to do? Now you've got the, okay, you got so... your piping bag made? Yes. Okay. So the piping bag, I don't have it made quite yet. Okay. Exactly. I've got one set, so you can start doing that. And okay. I've got like a little kind of a star tip in here. Okay. I'm going to load up my piping bag. Set up this cup here to make it easy. I love frosting cakes. Do you do a lot of cake decorating? Mm, I have before. I just don't do it a ton, as you can see, because I don't even have this tip. <laughs> You've got I it. I cut the tip too small. I mean, that's probably the. You first know, it's better to cut it too small than too. Yeah, that's a good point. Big, and I'll get this started. Okay. Okay, so go. I've got some of my spackle in here. I'm gonna do this, and I kind cool. of like the uh, idea that it's a little bit of um, kind of a vintage cake decorating. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here I go. I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do little rosettes around the edge. Rosettes. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm gonna start from the inside and swirl to the outside. Oh, I gotta at least. Try. And you can paint over this too. Uh, if you make mistakes, you can add glitter or paint to it after you're done. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Look at this, I like it. Yes, that's a great ruffle, Mitchell. Thanks. Ruffle right through that, all right.